Okay, for mask making, these are the items we're gonna need. We're gonna need a 14 by eight inch piece of fabric, one four inch pipe cleaner, two three by two pieces of fabric, two 13 inch cordings, or two seven and a half inch elastic, or two 30 inch yarn. I have my fabric right here, my 14 by eight inch fabric. I have a four inch pipe cleaner and I have bent down the sides on both sides so this way it doesn't stab through the mask or stab the user. And we are going to place this on the eight inch part of the fabric about an inch to half an inch down. I'm gonna do half an inch on this mask and we are going to sew this on the inside out piece of fabric. You can see this side's the pretty side. And we're gonna sew this down with a zigzag stitch. So I've placed it on my machine. I'm going to go with the widest zigzag pattern that I possibly can on whatever machine you have. And we are gonna sew our pipe cleaner down. And once that's done, we're going to remove it. And we're going to take our piece of fabric and we're going to put it inside out, the 8 inch side to the 8 inch side. And if you want to go ahead, you can pin this. I like to not pin half the stuff I'm working on because it takes too long and it's faster for me to just go ahead and sew and we're going to just do one straight line with this and we're going to back stitch the first little bit and back stitch again. And now we're going to take our fabric and make it so the pretty side is facing out. And you can now see that we have our nose piece up here. And we're going to go ahead and iron this. We're going to iron pleats in. So we're going to have our nose piece up here. The nose piece is on the back side and then we're going to pull this fabric down like this and iron it. Pull it down again, I always squeeze and we're going to iron that. And we're going to take this, I pinch it and iron that. So they're about a half an inch to an inch pleats depending on how many pleats you want, how thick you want. And we're going to go ahead and iron that. Okay, so we're going to iron on the pleats. I have the nose piece on this side. And I like to give a quick just iron to get everything flat and straight. And we're going to start pleating. I like to grab and put my thumb about half an inch up from the fabric. And take my fingers and pinch that fabric down. And pull it down towards you. And then we're going to iron this. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab another section about thumb part. If you could see right here, my thumb width, we're going to grab this and pull this piece down. And iron it. And then we're going to go ahead and pull the last piece down. And iron that. So there you have your pleats all on here. You can go ahead and pin these if you want, but I like to take it and go over and use our three inch by two inch sections and just 
automatically put it on because once you iron it, the pleats kind of seem to stay. Okay, I have a strip of fabric. This is just excess from previous masks I have made. And I like to iron the side and just sew a straight line all the way down this strip of fabric. And I repeat it on the other side too. And I sew all the way down the strip of fabric. And then I'll take scissors and I'll cut a two inch piece of section on each thing to make these. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the pretty side to pretty side and we're going to sew this down. You can go ahead and pin this if you would like or you can just go and sew a straight line. And I don't like to do any sort of back stitching on this. Because once we do the one side, we're going to cut off the excess piece, any excess and any strings. And then we're going to take this fabric, miss this string. We're going to take this fabric and we're going to flip it over and we're going to fold it. Just like that. And then we're going to put it right on top. And we're going to go ahead and sew this. And this is where I like to do the zigzag again. stitch and now you have this piece of fabric it's sewn on the sides and you have a hole to put any cording yarn elastic and we're gonna go ahead and sew the other side Put both pretty sides down. Cut your excess. Take it, fold it over, and put it on the back side. And there you have a mask made. And then you can take yarn and you can thread it through here. Two 30 inch pieces of yarn, one for each side. And you can take it and you can knot it and this way you can tie it behind your head. Or you can take elastic cording like this one I previously made. And you can tie them to make it where it's an adjustable ear loop. And you can do the same with elastic. So to make an adjustable ear loop, you're gonna take a cord and you're just gonna thread it through here, the one end. And then what I like to do, I'm going to cut this just because it's frayed a little, is make a knot on one end.
just like that. And then you're going to take your loop, make a loop just like this. You're going to take the flat end and you're going to take this right here, this part of the loop, and go over top of it. So facing towards my finger right here. And then we're going to make a loop and pull it through the hole. And then we're going to knot this end. My fingers won't stop fumbling. And now we have an adjustable earpiece. So people can pull this and make it adjustable to their face shape. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. But now, once you repeat that on the other side, you have a mask.